Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wogi, and I'm back with another Jigali Oz video. Today, I'm going to be going over the Mana Spiral that uh, Galazana just got, which I've been looking forward to. And let's see what she does, huh? Let's look into it, huh? Alright, let's go. So first of all, here's Galazana. Everyone's favorite, everyone loves. She's a healer. If you A healer who's also an attack unit. <laughs> uh, skill 1, Glorious Sanctuary, shareable, still 5 cost. Uh, restores HP to all teammates, continues gradually healing over time, increases their strength and creates a healing zone, also grants over damage to the entire team. Recover potency is 130, healing zone potency is 60, and a skill energy required is 5,850. Shared skill wise it's 17,550. Strength 15%, last 60 seconds, over damage last 30 seconds, 50% of strength. HP regen lasts 15 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, potency is 29. Okay, big upgrade from what it was previously. She can now heal, and she has over damage. I think previously it only gave strength it was. No, it, it healed, but it didn't have HP regen, that's what it was. Um, which is pretty important for a healer, and that over damage, very nice. I actually don't remember if the strength part was in there, but that's also nice in general. Holy Crown deals damage to multiple targets and enemies near those targets and grants the user the Holy Faith effect. Skill energy required 8,775. Damage is 53 over 5 hits, damage is 370 over 5 hits, both at the same time. Holy Faith, last 15 seconds, does not stack. Force Strike is 50% and knockback immunity, and I'm going to assume this is also nihility proof. So that's really good, because you want to Force Strike with her a whole bunch. I want to say her Force Strike rate previously was 30%, so she got a 20% boost from it. And she now has knockback immunity, which is good, because she's so focused on that Force Strike that she kind of needs it. Very nice. Co-op ability, recover potency 20%, increases the potency of recovered skilled by 20%, benefits the whole team. Light above 10 hits equals critical rate 13%. Uh, abilities, hollowed auspex 3. Grants the user an auspex gauge. The auspex gauge fills the user's first and second skills are used. When the gauge is completely filled, grant the user the twilight moon effect. When this effect is active, it grants the user a unique four strike with five increasingly powerful charge levels. This effect cannot stack and will be consumed on use. Also using Glorious Sanctuary will grant the user a defense amp with a maximum team amp level of three. After the amp is granted, it won't do it again for 30 seconds. Sacred Shield 3 reduces susceptibility to poison and curses by 100%. When the user is hit by an attack that would have poisoned or cursed them, you know the bit. Gain 15% strength. This ability won't activate it again for 10 seconds. Aspects uh, is prayer 3. When an ability increases the user's HP, the strength will increase based on the amount of HP gain. This bonus strength will be reduced if the user is below max HP relative to the amount of HP lost and will return if they are healed. The strength buff is not triggered by HP increase from the co abilities and chain co op abilities. Also, when the, the user has a defense amp, increased potency recovery skills by 10%. Not bad. So, here was the problem with Galazena is that she just wasn't <laughs> very good. Um, her healing wasn't enough. She was very attack focused, but the healing part of her was really bad. She released at a very weird time where it was like, um, I think it was just before the game was about to get a little bit harder in terms of stuff, but also light was in general suffering because they had that annoying ass Agito boss that I, I'm choosing to not, the Darth Vader one. I'm choosing not to remember him now that I can just auto skip him. <laughs> Now that I don't have to deal with Darth Vader anymore and the auto comps and the pure hell it was to create an auto team for that stupid fucking fight, I've chosen to forget him and to move on with my life. It's better this way. Uh, but she seems really good. The over damage is not something I would expect. This is also new. The shareable 5 part of it, so this was always part of it. This I think she now has the cheapest over damage. And it's 50%, so I think 50% is the highest some of the best one goes, some of the best ones go. Uh, that's crazy good. Uh, when it's cost, it's only a one cost difference because I want to say all the rest are six, but one cost difference just gives you that much to work with in other shared skills and stuff like that. So I think it does make a big difference at the end of the day, especially when it's like 50%. When you're getting 50% and some of the ones at 6 also get 50%. I think the thing you're losing here, though, is the fact that she doesn't have as good healing. Yeah, like, for example, the recover potency and healing zone potency just isn't up to snuff. I want to say Kimono Knot is better in terms of healing, but she doesn't have over damage. So, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying that they've done the smart thing here and said, if you want someone who's much more focused on the pure healing aspects of the game, then we have... 
dudes for you, but if you want someone who can heal you and also give you that attack boost, which also goes with the fact that she's an attack unit, we got Galazena for you here. And also, again, because this is a shared skill, it can go to anyone, in theory. <laughs> it can literally go onto any team. That's the niceness about the shared skill part, especially when they've just released a unit that's all about getting shared skills so much faster and having more to work with, but, you know, it's always good to have a good shared skill and stuff, especially because some people just don't know what to run and stuff like that. So I think they've done a fantastic, oh, also the changes to ability too. So the other thing that was annoying is that she did not have knockback immunity and her entire thing was based around knockback. So, not knockback, it was based around forced strikes. So it was very easy to actually never get the full charge of stuff, and I actually really liked using her back in the day, because I thought that force striking stuff was super fun. Uh, the problem was is that, just like a lot of light units around the time Nihility dropped, she just wasn't as useful as the other ones for what she needed to do. I think this is enough to kind of get her into a working order, especially if you don't have um, Komodo Knot, or you don't have any of the other... Who is the other Healy girl for light? I cannot. Hildegard? Yes, Hildegard. If you do not have a fully um, spiraled out Hildegard, I think she'll do you pretty well. Again, the only thing I really think that she probably will suffer a little bit in is the actual healing part of being a healer. Um, but I think it will end up being perfectly worth it. I think I'm going to use my Omnicide on her just because I'm a, such a huge fan of Galazena. I decided to skip the Cerise one. I'm slowly building up Cerise over time, and I think I'm going to be going with Galazena from the Omnisite. Um, yeah, and I think it's because I really do like the way she plays. So I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to have a video if you're more interested to see how she kind of is. If you're someone who's a little bit more like me usually, who wants to be a little bit more cautious with their Omnisite, um, and you don't want to necessarily use it all willy-nilly, even though you can get one once a month now, thanks to the... Um, uh, the roguelike that they got in the game. I cannot believe I'm forgetting the name of that too. What the hell is wrong with me? Why can I not remember anything today? The kaleidoscope. There you go. I was about to just be completely angry with myself if I did not remember the name of the newest freaking thing that they just released. But anyway, I digress. I think they did a good job with this one. I think they've done a good job with both of the Galamana Spirals of kind of looking at what they do and doing a pretty good job, which is pretty nice because some of the Galamana Spirals have been very... Funny enough, they didn't do a lot to her but the changes that they made are smart it's kind of like what was she missing she couldn't heal and she could use some over damage done let's improve her thing which was for striking a little bit more okay done she was really not someone who was dispelling she wasn't really someone who was um um buffing like crazy and stuff like that she really was someone who is a Harmasis, someone who heals and also can do a little bit of damage. So I think they've done a good job. But that's what I feel about that. So that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to leave a like. It helps the channel a whole bunch. Comment down below. Tell me how you feel about Zena. If you're going to be skipping this Omnisite or if you're going to be doing it for your girl or whatever you want to feel like doing. I'm sure there's plenty of Zena fans out there. She's like um, Zethia, except for her hair is still blonde. <laughs> and I think... But time travel and stuff like that. Um, yeah, feel free to subscribe if you want some more stuff with me. But that's the it for today's video, everyone. I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a good day and have a good night. See you later. Goodbye.